Hello everybody, this is Beer, Blades, and Gear. In this video, I'm going to be doing my full review on the Screech by Wee Knives. I'm going to be talking about why I chose this particular pocket knife over other options. There are three different options when it comes to this particular knife. I chose the antique bronze with the satin blade. There's also a tiger stripe version with a stonewash blade and an all gray version with a stonewash blade as well. They all cost $225.25. They're made in China. China's national animal is the giant panda. I chose the antique bronze over the other two because I just think the antique bronze looks really cool. I just went off the photos when I made this purchase, but I'm really happy with the decision that I made. Let's take a look at the fit and finish here. The fit and finish of this knife is fantastic. I really like these titanium handle scales. The antique bronze, I think, just looks really cool. Then you've got the 20 CV blade steel. It's a drop point, full flat grind. You've got the frame lock here. Just push it in, drop shut. The blade came out of the box perfectly centered. And of course you have the pocket clip here. You've got the flipper tab with the jimping on it. Just push it in, flick it out. You've got the back spacer here, which I think looks really nice. I mean, this almost looks like an integral to me, but I think the quality of the build on this is just fantastic. It's time to take a look at the hand feel. The hand feel of the Wii Screech is just amazing. I have a large size glove. I get a nice full purchase on this knife. What I really like is I like this ramping on the blade here. You got the jimping, but you can just lock in so well. So I'd say the hand feel of this knife is just second to none. Here's the size comparison. There's my Wii Screech compared to the Paramilitary 2 with a Tonto blade. Here it is next to the Benchmade Osborne 940. That's what it looks like compared to the Spyderco Smock. Here it is on top of a deck of playing cards compared to a silver dollar. And last but not least, here it is compared to a mini Bic lighter. The beer I'm currently drinking is Dead Guy Ale by Rogue Brewing Company. This is brewed in beautiful Newport, Oregon, right on the coast. It's a Maybach style ale 6.8% alcohol. This beer is absolutely delicious. It's got sweetness to it and a little bit of bitterness with the hops. It's just a great beer. Let's take a look at the specifications. We have an overall length of 7.5 inches with a blade length of 3.25 inches. It's a flat grind with a drop point blade shape. It's made from 20 CV blade steel and has a satin finish. We have a handle length of 4.25 inches. The handle is made from titanium. It has a black and bronze finish, which I really like. I think that's probably 
one of my favorite things about this knife. And then we have an overall weight of 4.59 ounces, which isn't necessarily light, but it's kind of that overbuilt quality and the feel in hand that really makes me enjoy this particular pocket knife. It's time to take a look at the fidget factor. The fidget factor of this knife is just so cool. I think it is kind of that overbuilt feel that you get and that weight and the handle and the weight of the blade just makes this thing just so satisfying to fidget with. I mean, listen to the sound of the thwack at the top here. Uh, just so awesome. This thing's just such a nice little fidget knife for sure. So I'd say the fidget factor of this knife is fantastic. Let's take a look at the pocket profile. I'd say the pocket profile for me isn't necessarily the best. I really do prefer deep carry pocket clips and this knife just kind of rides a little bit high in the pocket. It's a little bit heavy, but that's part of what I like about it as well. So I'm not going to nitpick it on that. But I'd say that the pocket profile on this is just okay. It's time to reveal my final thoughts. My final thoughts on this knife are that it's just a awesome little knife. I mean, I've really enjoyed carrying it. I think that the build quality is amazing. I really like the materials as well. I think the fidget factor is just second to none. I really like the hand feel. I know I've said this several times, but I mean, you can just lock in so great on this knife. One thing I really like about not only the Wii, but the Civivi is they've started incorporating kind of that Spyderco style ramp on the blade, which really does allow you to lock in quite well. So if I had the choice to buy this knife again, I definitely would. If you like my content, I would ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, I would ask you to please hit the little notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You all have an amazing day. And I will see you next time.